what's up y'all it's me again back with another video another video uh, i am just so elated to finally be here y'all i swear i'm just loving this channel because this is the time i get to smoke okay this is the time i get to relax wind down you know chill lay back kick it with y'all you know what i mean and just talk about what we done did today and you know what we expect later on tonight and what we gonna do tomorrow to make it a better day and more productive and prosperous day right i mean that's what really life is just about right just making your plans for the next move for the next day so that you know you can be comfortable and also your offsprings and your generations to come right mm. yeah that that little hit is well needed let me put some up fire to it though how y'all doing? What y'all smoking on over there? What y'all smoking in? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget, before we get into this, we're going to have to uh, like, share, and comment on this video, okay? Um, let me know your thoughts. What you like, What would you like for me to add um, to the commentary or whatnot? And you know, I just want to get into it. Yeah, so... Enjoy this... Uh, Ooh, excuse me. Enjoy this uh, beautiful weather we're having. It is so warm here in the D. I'm telling you, it is 37 degrees. Mm, okay, it's not well, warm, but it's warm for our skin. Trust me, it's rarely people out here today with coats on. Most people have on their um, little windbreakers or no coat at all. So I got on a coat, but you see me out here with the seat through on. So yeah. Yeah, it's a little something I got or whatever, but anywho, I decided to come on today. Just, you know, I'm just going to make this like an everyday thing. I've been trying to and just, just come up with different topics. So, you know, I really want to start off with, you know, self-perseverance, taking care of yourself first. You know, um, a lot of factors that we deal with in life, a lot of variables, a lot of obstacles and everyday life that we face you know it gets hard at times it gets difficult not because um that's just a, what's meant for us in life but you know a lot of times when things are going on it's just because you know you're in the middle of a transgression or a transmute or um just to a different level going to a different level and aspect in your life and sometimes change is it just something that, you know, we're willing to do um, independently? Sometimes we have to be pushed. The universe likes to push us a lot of times. And when we don't understand that, it, weigh, it weighs on us. And we get to stress then. And then we're thinking about the outcomes of this and that. If this doesn't work out, you know, which brings the anxiety along. And, um, you know, a lot of times we're not even recognizing that we're stressed out. A lot of times we're just like, okay, this is just life. This is what I got to do. I got to worry about this. I got to worry about that. No, that is called stress. Um, and it needs to be addressed. It needs to be handled. Because stress not only is mental, you know, from emotions, it can also manifest itself into physical. You know what I mean? <clears throat> a lot of people be stressed and don't want, you know, and don't know that the symptoms they're having is a result to being stressed, you know. Sometimes people get headaches. And no, don't get me wrong, I'm not a doctor, you know. But through life, I have lived. And through experiences, you know, I have gone through. And observation, you know, I, am, I do know people. You know what I mean? So, just knowing that it happens to um, all the best of us it happens to a lot of us it's just that we really just need to just sit back and reflect and just plan out just start making plans if this doesn't work what's the next um step what's the plan what's the next plan and when you're stressing about things it's usually a lot of things that's not important it's usually things that's temporary it's not a long time goal you know and I will just say that when you're stressing out, just try to focus on the long, um, the longevity 
of what your goals are. Just focus on what you're passionate about, what you're interested in, what you're doing every day to um, benefit yourself and make yourself a better person. Um, just try to focus on more positive things. I know it sounds cliche, but at the end of the day, if you dwell too so much on what's going on, which was seemingly to be wrong, you know, then you won't be able to progress and then you won't be able to come up with ideas and plans to get yourself out of that situation. You know, um, just me and personal, you and those going on. My main factor is my main hang up in life is I'm just looking to be self uh, reliant, self sufficient, self sufficient person. Whether that is me having someone to take care of me, which is always a go, um, or if it's just my businesses launching and you know hitting the ground running, um, whatever it may be. But I personally just want to get out of the. It's like lambs being lined up to the slaughterhouse. They don't know they're being, that they're going to the slaughterhouse, but they're just lined up. And I'm tired of being in that line. And in that line, is just a lack of happiness. All right? Because, yes, you can make yourself happy, but if you're in a predicament or an environment you don't want to be in, that can also make you miserable. You can love everything about yourself, but if around you is not reflecting who you are, that can make you, you know... That can make you miserable. That can bring a lot of anxiety, make you stressed. So, you know, just try to just think about things. And if you already have goals and the end game and you already know what you want to do and you're working towards those goals, but you're still stressing out, just stay focused on the reason why you're executing these plans and these goals. It has to be a motivation there has to be a battery in your back as to why it's a battery in my back as to why i want to be um, financially set free it's, i want financial freedom um it's the reason behind why i prefer to work for myself and have someone else take care of me and not work for no one else it's the reason why because it will relieve uh just to let you know in on me it'll let me in it'll let me in a lot of free time It'll let me be able to do what my heart's really desire is because I had already mentioned what my little um, slang or motto was. You know, my main mission is to help people, but don't get it twisted. I still got to slay with it. Yeah, my main mission is to help people, but don't get it twisted. You feel me? I still got to slay with it. So I just want to incorporate all my businesses into that, you know, that little slogan motto or whatnot. And just live by that day to day and just do something every day differently to work towards that. I have a lot of people that's in the world waiting on me. That's another reason what's my motivation. Like, just think about it. A day you procrastinate, an hour that you just bullshit, that is someone who is in need of whatever services that I'm interested in offering. Someone is in need. You know what I mean? And whatever you're doing, whatever you would love to do, you know, to give back to the world or people. Someone is, someone actually is depending on you and and if they could, they would encourage you to um, follow your dreams so that you can, at the end, help them and others like them, you know? My main mission is to just say to people, you know, once the people, everything else will fall in line. The earth will be loved better if we could just reach the people, you know what I mean? And and today is 2029, too many resources too many high tech technology advances, you know, for anyone to be in a predicament where, you know, okay, they're let they're missing out um, because they're not as fortunate, and <clears throat> you know, it's just too many, it's just too many resources out here, and that's what I put my, that's what I try to tend to put my energy to, putting my placing my energy. And other places, all the frustration and all the suppression, all of the um, pressure that you feel and like the darkness that you feel like you're in. Just use that energy and just put it into something that is productive and something that could get your mind off of it and be in turn, you know, used positively, you know, and put in a positive light. And that someone can learn from it and that someone else can be inspired, you know. 
to follow in your steps or set their own trail, you know? So being stressed out, you know, whatever it may be, it ain't worth, it's not worth it. Just take a break from it. Whatever it may be, just try to find a way to take a break. <clears throat> I don't know. It could be your family. Um, it could be your family. You know, you live under the same household, under the same roof. And there are times that you will be able to um, get a break. You know, you have to make that time. When the kids are at school, when the husband's at work, make that time. When the wife is with the kids, pick up the kids or at the school activity, make your time for yourself. Um, you know, on the weekend when, when, when dad's doing the lawn and doing the um, landscaping and mom's at the grocery store and running errands, you could be in your room, you know what I'm saying? Just researching different ways that you can start YouTube channels and start investing, um, in yourself and just putting yourself out there. So you, you know, can actually just obtain a business because had I been, um, a young child around this time that the internet is in like such high demand, I would be, I would be all into it. Like I would have channels on top of channels and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing now. Actually, you know, I have to, but you know, I just want to take the time before I could start starting new channels. I want to take the time and just, um, nourish and give it be tentative to the channels that I have started and you know then gradually grow and start others um that's another thing that can cause stress you're trying to do everything at once you're not pasting yourself you're not organizing you're not setting realistic goals you're just trying to get everything done at once and at the same time and Sometimes with little or to no help, um, and you're stretching yourself and you're thinning yourself out. And so you just have to just handle one task at a time, pace yourself and just take your time. Don't be so anxious to just jump out there and just do something because you feel like oh i'm in this bind this situation it's like it's one thing to be in a predicament that you're in and stress because when you try to get yourself out of that predicament get yourself into other things you're going to handle it stressfully it's not going to be organic you're not going to be able to be creative for example if you're out there looking for a job or if you're out there sugar baby and looking for a sugar daddy you're and if you're under high stress level because you have financial issues or or whatnot, you don't see how you'll be able to um, pay your rent or your bills or, or the family need help or bounce them. You know, um, <clears throat> you can miss out on a lot of opportunities because out of desperation, just out of desperation, you know, and just not thinking, not thinking with a clear mind, not being able to strategically strategize your plan and execute it successfully and <clears throat> you know, um, accomplishing your goals and your dream, your aspirations. You can go to a job interview and be so nervous and just stumble over your words and not be able to articulately, um, articulate your words and you can blow an opportunity all because you're stressed out, all because you're des out of desperation, you're anxious, you know, Try to put yourself in, before getting in a situation, try putting yourself in that situation first. And what I mean by that is, it's planning for the unknown. That's another way you can relieve stress. Because a lot of our stress that is caused is caused by us not planning. Okay? Like, for example, you can know you got bought tires, but then you don't go get any new tires. So then on your way to work, you know, your tires bust and you're on a clock in job and they have incentive. You can't be late so many times or absent or you're fired or you have already been late and you're on your last string, you know, and then this happens or emergency happens. 
well, yeah, that was an emergency. Yeah, you would like for the job to say, okay, you should be considerate. It was a blowout, right? Unless that blowout was caused by like a, some nails or some glass or something. It's primarily your fault because you knew you need these tires and you failed to prepare. And so now that you failed to prepare, okay, now that you failed to prepare, you're in a jam. You're stressed out. You only know, it's like looking for tires, looking for um, who's gonna, where I'm going to get them delivered at. Or if you ride around the city, who's going to get the tires? Where I'm going to get the tires at? You know, um, a lot of things that we do, we cause the stress on ourselves. So, you know, just playing ahead, saving your ducats, saving your coins is always the number one. I mean, it can't help in health situations, you know, as far as, not. I'm not speaking about, of course, it can pay the health care bill if you have insurance, but also get insurance. But, you know, money can't solve every problem. There's a lot of people in the hospital bed overnight wish that money could solve their problem. And it can't, you know? His legs bothering. So, yeah, I just say that we do cause a lot of stress on ourselves. And a way, a great way to avoid that is just to plan ahead. Um, be, you know, just be proactive. Be pro um, be preventative uh, as far as like for example getting your car checked out no you don't hear here knocking no you don't hear a noise or a squeak or nothing fell off but you're just being proactive um, just go to the doctor anyway just go get checked up check up but it's preventative health they they cover preventative health going to get checked out going to get a physical you know getting your urine checked you know go to the doctor I want to get the physical you have them check your blood check your urine um yeah let you know what's going on with yourself i know everybody always scared of numbers but it's better to know than not to know and then you think and when you have all that anxiety because you think it's wrong and nothing's going on you will be all right you know so a lot of people is just stressed out because they're so scared of things they're scared to try new things they're scared to just um I don't know. It's just the fear of the unknown. Just is really like a, a just a, and in some some instances, it's just a lack of faith, a lack of faith as well. You be so stressed out because you don't believe in yourself or nothing else, and then you become hopeless, and you feel like you're lost and you're by yourself. You know, so stressing, stressing needs to be corrected immediately. If you start feeling like you're, um, you know, fatigued and you're losing sleep, insomnia, you're not being able to sleep at night, you're always thinking about the same thing over and over. Um, if you find yourself not eating or like losing weight or picking up weight, you know, um, sometimes it even can get physical. You can get a headache. You can have chest pains. It can raise your blood pressure. You don't even know it. Stomach aches. All of those are factors just by being stressed out. Not being able to think straight. Your memory can get foggy. You can get into accidents, a lot of accidents, anything, you know. So that is a big deal. It's Seemingly as though it's minor because the word is just used and it's thrown around just randomly and it's like, okay, stress, whatever, whatever. But no, that is a, it's a major. It, it could cause a lot of health issues. And I suggest that you get those types of things looked into. And, you know, um, what else I say I was going to talk about? And then I'm going to get into the anger. The anger and the frustration that can come from the stress. You know, a lot of people don't realize that their stress levels affect their social skills. And that's what I'm talking about.
Turn my wheel. Okay. A lot of people don't know that their anger, I mean their stress can affect their social skills. And what I mean by that is, you know, you're being argumentative, you're moody, you're not interested, you're snapping, you're um, standing to yourself, you don't want to be bothered with anyone, um, stand offish, you know, um, just like want to be a loner. A lot of those things play a factor. And so you will wind up sometimes even miss directing your anger you can't be mad about the job but you're taking it out on family or your family is provoking you you know knowing that you're stressed it's a good thing that i'm talking about this because a lot of things you just need to keep to yourself a lot of things that you people will say to you and they will try to just um provoke you they'll use it to their advantage and they'll want to flip the script Oh, it's you, it's you, you're angry, you got this going on with you, that's why you're mad, you need to go see that you're crazy, it's like I just said the third, but the same person who knows all these secrets about you, they're using that against you now. Now it's what you call using it against you. So then, if they know all of that, and they're still continuously wanting to be argumentative, then that just means at that point now they're provoking you, because they're well aware of your situation and your and your um, mindset, you know, your mental state. Which sounds like a very toxic person. And I would suggest you just separate yourself from that person, whether it's family, because it's always usually family, because you know why? Because that's who's closer to you. And if you do follow Yahweh, as you do follow the Holy Scriptures, then you would know that all the story talks about is different family members backstabbing each other. So Yahweh already told you that Hey, the number one person who's going to kill you, uh, first murder, Cain and Abel, hello. That's going to be, you know, so that's going to be the one, the, that's why, the reason why that's the first person, because that's the closest person. It wasn't a, another villager from around the way, or another tribe, or leader, or chief, or something. It was his people who's under him. So, um, when you allow people to know your weakness, in some situations, you just have to let people know about, because some situations, you know, you have to do a lot of strategic thinking, you have to have more than one mind. Um, Y'all have to just plan things out. You know, it's like a counselor around the table or something. It's like, let's strategically plan this out. How is it going to go? ABC. What's this? What's the story? This and the third, right? And so when those situations, you have to, you have to um, include them in, you know, because they might have connects. You know, and not saying don't be at no one's humble mercy because they got to connect some over and you desperately need it. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, you do desperate times cause desperate measures, I guess. But a lot of times it could be a mistake. Don't be so desperate and gun ho, right? So, um, yeah, um, a lot of people want to misdirect their anger and because they know that you're already going through it. They want to put you through it even more. And it's like, you know, you're not catching the break from your issues, your problems, and then you have your close ones, right? And so, you know, then you got to just start cutting people off. A lot of people going to cut themselves off. Time going to cut people off. A lot of people don't um, make it throughout time with each other. As far as like hanging out with each other, knowing each other, stuff like that, because only because seasons, people are like seasons, it changes, you know, everybody has their own direction and, you know, life that their own destiny, basically. You know, at that time when we were in school, that was our destiny, being in school together. Now that we in age of age, my destiny is to go to this move to this state. Your destiny is to stay in this state and have some babies. And you know what I mean? So don't feel like it's because you got a friend, you know, a childhood friend that have been through X, Y, and Z together. You gotta you gotta you gotta keep that person around even though they're upset you're not making you 
you know, not making you happy, basically. Dump them too. Shoot. What does that mean? 20 years and 10 years and 5 years? That's nothing. 30 years? That's nothing. I've seen people get fake on other people after 30 years. Yes, I have. I have literally seen people get fake on a motherfucker after 30 years. But guess what, though? They ain't just not getting fake. They been fake. You, They just ain't really paid attention to it. And it's been in their face all along because usually it always is. Actually, it is always is. It's always in your face first. You know what I'm saying? So, I just say, you know, hey. When your kids and y'all friends, it's because y'all in the same classroom, y'all in the same sports team, same after school activities, same block, share a mutual best friend. Yo, your best friend be at this one girl house and now you know her through another friend or every time you go to this school, school event, you always see this popular person always around. You want to know who that is, you know, who everybody like, you know, whatever the reason may be. Those reasons are not the same are not going to be the same when you get older that's just the truth and when they cross you like that and those be the ones and let me tell you if you are a good motherfucker people who cross you they gonna always try to come back people who cross you is never fail whether it be your same sex or your opposite sex if you a good, thorough motherfucker and you sit there and motherfuckers like they really fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? And that's why y'all all was basically friends, you know, for many years. You know what I'm saying? If you that person on that end of the stick, what I'm talking about. If you that type of person, they going to come back. They always do. <laughs> depending on how depending on how your fallout was, what it was about, you know, it's up to you if you decide to let it back in your life or not. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I just feel like... It depends on what it is. And it's usually always something serious because it's always usually when you get older, it's like the arguments from childhood is different than the arguments when you get older. The arguments when you get older, you can really see the, the snake tongue. Like you see it when you're young, when you're in your childhood. But when it, when you get older and then you guys are no longer in your mommy's house or you're no longer in your in your mommy's car, you start gaining assets. At first, y'all just riding a bus together. At first, y'all were just riding bikes. At first, you were just riding with her sister. She was riding with your sister. He, you was riding with his brother. He was riding with your brother. But now, y'all yeah, got your own car. So, this is your own identity. One person may have one better than the next. You know, so... One person might live in a better neighborhood than another. One person might live in a better, better, better neighborhood, yeah, but her house is bigger in the city, though. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you, when the adolescence and the juvenile just falls off. It's like when it becomes adult and it becomes real, people really rear their wicked head. And it is okay to throw those 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, okay, and so forth and so on, year friendships away. It is okay. You can it ain't no we ride together, we die together, bad boys for life. It ain't none of that shit. It ain't no Martin and Will going on. Okay? It ain't none of that. None of that. It ain't none of that. It ain't no more motherfucking... Nicole Richie and Paris Hilton going on. Started at the bottom. Now we here. We ain't friends no more. 
We ain't cool like that no more. We ain't thugging like we used to. Because we was at the bottom. We was cool. <laughs> Damn. Y'all want to see me drink some water? Me too. Get my coat out the way. My water bottle. Alright, that's my brush. I'm This ain't no motherfucking bad boys for life. Bitch can get the business while you grown. The bitch can get her ass with for real. At first, y'all was cool. Y'all ain't really want to fight because if y'all fall out, then the other hoe, y'all know it's always clicked. Then you fall out, then the whole other big click fall out. You know, y'all got your own individual click, but y'all besties. But if y'all fall out, it's a whole gonna be it's gonna be twenty and twenty bitches on each other, ten and ten bitches on each other. You feel me? So don't be so hard up and sprung over uh some fucking memories, okay, and some fucking time. All right. When you get grown, it's all about your paper, and your bread. <clears throat> and that's just the God's honest truth. A lot of people as young don't know that or think like, oh, money ain't nothing. I just, um, oh, this, this is this, this, and I can blow this. Um, it doesn't matter. I'll make some more. I mean, yeah, you'll make some more money, but money going to save your ass. Okay. A lot of situations and you got to be prepared. You got to have it. In more ways than motherfucking one. What I mean by that, you got to have some money at home in the safe. You got to have some money in the bank. You got to have some money on a debit card. You got to have a credit card. You got to have apps. Not saying cash app alone, but cash apps. Whether it's cash app, PayPal, Venmo. You got to have this shit go or this. You got to have money all sorts of types of ways. You never fucking know. Like, for example, I'm down in Texas. I'm going to shout her out. I was down in Texas and I had bought some shades. And this is her card. I bought some shades and... <coughs> <clears throat> Go order you some. Tell her I sent you. Tell her stations just to show her my video. Share my link in my video. She didn't know me by face. She took a picture, so yeah. I got some badass shades from her. All right. So I went here to her, right? And I think I had, I didn't have my debit card, I didn't have no cash. Or I just had my debit card. I didn't have no okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because, of course, I was out of time. I had my debit card. I just didn't have no cash. But she said cash app. I was able to get my glasses because I had multiple ways of having access to money. Being, you know, having money accessible to me. So that is just something as well that you should get into. And guess what else you should get into? Check this out. Have different car associations. All right. What does she mean by different card associations? Credit card association is a Visa, MasterCard, Debit, Discover, Amex. <laughs> um, what's that? Uh, it just it keep coming and it keep fading away. It's like a Japanese or Chinese one. So dine or some. I don't. Oh goodness, can't think of it. But anyway. All right. Some places say this. We only accept cash and MasterCard. 
You said get a debit card. Make sure I got my debit card. Okay, I said you got a debit card. But your debit card said Visa, baby. And this place where you got to go get your gun license or your marriage license or, you know what I'm saying, something important, some shit you need ASAP. Say they don't take your visa. Some things in life you just got to know because you go through some things in life everybody ain't going to tell you. Like I told y'all, don't be having the heaters in the house. Do not have the kerosene heaters. Don't have the generators. People are dying from carbon monoxide. Go to Walmart. Get you some carbon monoxide detectors. Save yourself from the silent killer. Not your fart, nigga. The silent killer. C.M. Relax, relate, relate swiftly. <laughs> relax, relate, release. Okay. Seriously. That's real facts. Not everybody know this. Not everybody know this shit. You know what I'm saying? And so... <coughs> just be safe, y'all. Just be safe. Try to. I know it's, it's warming up up here in Michigan. I don't know about other places. And I know it's probably colder in other places right now. Or whenever this video air, I, this video is out forever. So somebody's going to watch it again in the cold. Just tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell a friend. All right? Just tell a friend... You know, a hey, alert them on that. Put them hip. Oh, it's a uh uh. Oh, that is or is not? Let me see. Oh, okay, that looked like one. Okay, what about this? What this one do? Oh, it it must be then. Probably see if that's a hole. Probably gonna stretch it. <laughs> Should I have told y'all that I was all too transparent? How about we just don't give a fuck? It's obvious it's going to get a hole. And I never even worn this. I had to have bought it like this because it's my first time wearing this real spit. I haven't had it for like two years. Something like that. But, yeah. Got it from a boutique or whatever. A lady with her business. I try to support women businesses. You know, my people businesses, period. Like, I know I'm going to get support. You know what I'm saying? Like, just for off the strength of, I done put it out there already. I know good going to come to me because I know I done put it out there. You know what I'm saying? It's just I'm waiting my time for it. That's all. I'm just waiting my time for it. And while I'm doing that, it's like just sit back, kick back, relax, and relate, and waiting. I'm also doing other shit that's pro proactive, being, you know what I'm saying, productive as well. To make sure that I do get where I'm trying to go. You know what I'm saying? And basically, this is like the beginning of me like manifesting and putting out there me launching my Weekonda website. I already have the domain. It's mine. Now I got this time. I am just building this shit by just fucking with y'all. Keeping y'all. You know what I'm saying? trying to keep y'all attentive, you know what I'm saying, keeping y'all um, interested or whatever. I'm new to this shit. I ain't used to speaking in front of a camera. I can talk some shit, talk my ass off. But when you put a camera on me, I'm just froze the fuck up. Like, what the fuck? And I don't understand that because I'm just an outgoing person. I have such a great personality. I just really just want that. I just want the genuine me to just shine through and just really just come through. I'm not saying I ain't been genuine, but I have been more so holding back and no you're not supposed to let everything into the internet and out there that's not what i'm saying but for the most part be yourself you know what i'm saying not everything is meant to be said okay but always just be yourself at the end of the day and that's what i learned i've been watching youtube for years and 
a lot of ladies that I watch that are major YouTubers right now, if I say their name, it sounds sound like I'm name drop, dropping and clock chasing. But I literally have been there from the beginning. But if I told them what my username is, they'll know. Put it like that. If I, if I go reach out to them chicks and say, oh, this is such and such in the comments. Oh, hey, I remember. You know what I'm saying? Because it's such a, it was such a obvious name. Okay, let's put it like that. Oh, yeah, I know who you is. Like that. But I noticed that they were just being themselves. Just coming on every day, talking. You know what I'm saying? But YouTube wasn't like the way it is now. Like, now if I could go live, I would. I think I'd be more comfortable if I go live, if I seen comments, if I seen motherfuckers talking to me. And I could be like, okay, this is a conversation. You know, um, that's what I'm really, you know, doing all these videos and trying to get this time in for because I think I'd be much more successful with the lives. You know what I'm saying? That way I I could just be more myself, like more adventurous. Like, come on, let's do this. Let's go there. Go that. Go you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. They done changed the game up and shit. Now I got to wait. And I got a motherfucking subscriber. Shout out to my motherfucking subscriber. I'm going to keep thinking that nigga. And I ain't going to stop. Y'all motherfuckers still subscribe to this day. I appreciate that. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Like, it ain't... It ain't... It ain't hard press. It ain't... Ugh, like... Chasing or like being all uh, thirsty or nothing like that. You can tell somebody that you appreciate them. Why is that got to... Why you got to be so hard all the time? Why can't you just be open and truthful like... Man, I fuck with you for fucking with me. I appreciate that. Like, that's that genuine shit. Because if you fuck with me, I fuck with you. You ain't got to be like, oh, um, these are all my scrap. No, like, that's my people. I told him when I go live, okay, that's my motherfucking first mod. And I don't give a fuck if you don't ever come to my comments. I'm going to go to his motherfucking channel and I'm going to make him one, okay? I'm going to send him a message to him to come live just so I can, okay? That's how much motherfucking I mean that. I am so motherfucking serious. That nigga subscribed to this day. It's been like a few days now. And he still ain't left. I still ain't ran him off. So, <laughs> hey, he was, he's sticking around and shit. So, let motherfuckers know you appreciate them. Don't be scared. You don't look crazy. You know what I'm saying? You look open and honest to be actual. And that's what people need in these more genuine shit on YouTube because motherfuckers just be faking and shit. And I ain't talking about nobody in particular, but people just, you know, you could just see like people doing it for the camera. And that's why I don't ever want to be no just doing it for the camera. Like, ever. Like, I just like this. And then I like this low key, low key. <laughs> Low key, I have views, but I have views where I'm comfortable to keep coming back. Like, I don't feel like it's such a big ass audience. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like shit I said about to go motherfucking viral. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, no shit. Like, oh, damn. Like, I'm out here. Like, I don't feel that way. So, I think that's another reason why people be putting on and shit. Because a lot of more popular people. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to say in my lane with my weed shit. You know what I'm saying? I already told you I'm doing it for the growers and the smokers. You feel me? Toast to that. But, <laughs> and I got my makeup channel too. I'm in my beauty. I'm in my own lane. When I get my camera, I'll be doing my own thing. You feel me? <laughs> I got ideas. And my shit be costing, my ideas cost money. Like, I just got an idea just now. I got to write it down real quick. Because that's how real life be with me, I swear. And I love it, though. It ain't crazy, either. It's so good. It is so good. <laughs> and it was good, too. And it was good. <laughs> Looking all good. Look what I got. Thank you. What does it say? Thank you, thank you, thank you for Weed Condor's trademark. Yahweh. Elohim. See what I'm saying? I already wrote it into existence. Now, what I'm about to write on here. Oh, for that, I had an idea for my beauty channel. And I got to write that down before I lose it. Okay. Now, 
always keep your pen and paper around. You you want you don't know what you want to do. Put yourself in a place where you're comfortable, like where you can think at, like maybe by the water or something, or at the park or something like that, or on a rooftop somewhere. You know what I mean? Um, in your room, you know, what I'm saying in your den, whatever, at the a chill spot at the library, and just write and write and keep and write. And even when you're not, I'm just saying, like, you don't have to be at a designated spot, a designated area. You could just be like wherever you at. Just have one on your purse or in your pants, no pocket or something. Because if you like me, ideas be shooting. Pew, pew, pew. All the time, and I be I have forgotten a lot of ideas, so I just write it all down now. So I have a bunch of a bunch of post-its, a bunch of notes. It's everywhere I do because I have. I'm like when you, when you I get to that level, level I'm gonna have that shit. And I'm gonna remember. Okay, I do this is what I gotta do. This is what I'm gonna do. This is my creativity. As far as create a lot of creativity and stuff, and all oh, that's concerned. But yeah. How y'all doing tonight? If y'all don't like the video yet, subscribe. Share the video. Check out my other channel, Oh So Prissy Shay. I lost one subscriber over there. Um, I'm, I'm being open and honest. See, I told y'all about the one I got. And I got like 71 now over there. It was 72 that somebody left. But guess what? Everybody ain't make it. You feel me? Some niggas got threw off the boat. You feel me? And that's what this motherfucker did. They just got threw off the motherfucking boat. And they ain't coming. Period. Flat the fuck out. So. It was fun while it lasted. It was cute while they was there. But they got to scoot over and make room for the new. You feel me? And that's how you got to do. Learn to let motherfuckers go. Let it go, let them go. That was corny, but learn to let niggas go. Bitches go. Think nothing of it, just off the shoulder. Okay, sweetie. Didn't miss you. Okay. One had you again, and I don't want you. Okay. Simple and easy. And so. Don't be attached. Be like Velcro. Attached just enough, but you can still sh sh come the fuck off. Okay? I still can. Sh it ain't shit, but a, sh but a strap. You feel me? And being like Velcro is a little too tight. You feel me? And that motherfucker just dangling it like a, a wet piece of a, a paper towel. Like this about to just fall. This is about to fall out your hand. This paper towel and it's wet. That's a fall. Don't put more into them than they put into you. Period. You keep it level where this is you and this is them. You got to keep yourself number one on top because people take advantage of you. And that ain't good. That ain't good. Come out the sore loser. Always come out upset. Because you feel like you didn't gave. And you didn't gave too much. What's going on? Have itching ears clouded our vision. Chabu. Okay, so now before I got this video, oh, I already told y'all about health. Okay, I already told y'all about going to a doctor, getting your physical. Guys, go get your colon check. You should do that shit at least by you 30, 30, by 40, when you're approaching 40, when you're like 38. In the late thirties, I say, I say preventative. I say the earlier the better. Women, go get your Pap smears, your culture exams, get your mammograms. All right, get them while you 
I don't know. It depends on what your insurance will pay for. What age? Inquire. Be proactive. Okay? And... Drink your water. <laughs> Cheers to that because I'm thirsty. Well, like, I'm run out of water and this is it. I know I got to go now. Mm-mm. I got to get up out of here. <laughs> but yeah. So. I just want everyone to just stay motivated out there. Just keep your head up. And... Tomorrow, I know it sounds cliche, but it will be a better day. Just stay on your grind, stay motivated, stay focused, keep your head in the game. Just trust and know that you got this. I know this, you know this, we know this. So now we got to just believe this. Believe it. And we will receive it. Just say you see yourself doing it and you receive yourself doing it. And it's done. Straight like that. I like how it's out as the nighttime is just set now. So when I blow out the weed, it just you can see the smoke even better. At first, you couldn't see it was all faded away because of the light. <coughs> but yeah. Uh, Hey, you done had me for about 51 minutes now. I think it's my time to sign off. Rightfully so. I will be back. The Lord's will. And let his will be done. And please, Lord, be willing. that I come back on here tomorrow. And kick it with you again. We are officially out of cooking. It's gone, y'all. It's gone. What's the day? Tuesday? A week and a day. That sack that we had. A week and a day. It's over with. So, with that being said, we got to go get our trees tomorrow, right? Our herbal essence. That's right. We're going to get our herbal essence tomorrow. And um, we're going to go get some cookies. Girl Scout cookies, which is actually in season right now. Um, I done lost about eight pounds in the last about a week or so. Um, I'm not doing it. But um, I do see the little girls out there. And they're packed and they're loaded. And so I just have to stay focused. You know, like, don't even look that way. Go to a different store because as soon as you go in that Kroger, they're going to do what? You want some kind of cock? You know damn well. Motherfucker wants some of them s'mores and them motherfucking dosey dos. <laughs> you know damn well. Uh. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. But anyway, all right, we out of here, y'all. I'm about to go. I'm going to call it a night. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Um, believe in yourself. All right? And blow one for me. We'll be blowing again tomorrow. See you soon. Deuces.